an analyst predicts that sales per day of a new product are given by the function s of d equals a thousand divided by quantity d minus three squared plus one in the denominator that's the units sold on day d for the first 15 days so this is the domain prediction only holds for the first 15 days after the product is released so we want to know um, find where s is increasing find where it's decreasing and find any local extrema meaning maxes or mins here's what we got to do first step we'll find the derivative s prime next we find the critical numbers which is d values in the domain where the derivative s prime of d is either zero or where it's undefined what's important about those critical numbers are those are the places where the sign of the derivative might possibly change so the next step is to use those critical numbers to divide up the domain into zones and then we find the sign of s prime in the interior of each zone by checking s prime whether it's positive or negative at any convoint any convenient point in that interval once we found the sign of s prime in each zone that's like completing a sign chart um, then we'll be able to find local extrema using this logic we have a local max wherever the derivative s prime switches from positive to negative that is switching from increasing to decreasing it's going up the hill then back down and it's a local min where s prime switches from negative to positive which is switching from decreasing to increasing so we're going down the valley and back up all right let's find that derivative um, it's a little easier if we do a little algebra first so i foiled out the d minus three squared in the denominator and simplified now let's find this derivative using the quotient rule first i'll just write down what the quotient rule tells me so the quotient rule tells me it's going to be the derivative of the top times the bottom. That's oh, messy. 6d plus 10. All right, then minus the top without a derivative times the derivative of the bottom. d squared minus 6d plus 10 over the square of the bottom. d squared minus 6d plus 10. 10 in parentheses. All right, the derivative of 1,000 is 0 because it's a constant. So we get 0 minus 1,000 times. All right, it's pretty easy to take the derivative of a polynomial. This will be 2d minus 6. And then we still have this denominator. All right, so there's our derivative, s prime of d. And now we ask a few questions about it. Where is it undefined? Well, in order for this to be undefined, this denominator would have to be 0. But this is not ever 0. Um, how can I tell? We have um, a non-negative number, because it's squared, plus 1. So this is always positive. And if we square it, it's still always positive. And in particular, it's never 0. All right, the next question we ask about s prime is does s prime of d equal zero anywhere? So does this derivative ever equal to zero? Well, if you look at the denominator, the denominator is never gonna be zero, which is good. All right, and if we look at the numerator, when is this thing equal to zero? So that's negative one, oops. So that's negative 1,000, two d, minus six, when does this equal zero? Um, well, you can divide both sides by negative 1,000, and we'll see that this is equal to zero at d equals three. So we found one critical number. All right, let's make that sign chart. So we'll start with a domain of s, which goes from zero to 15. All right, and now we found our one critical number was at three. So we'll divide up the domain into two zones. And we'll check the sign of s prime, not the original function s, but its derivative in each zone. 
All right, well, I have a favorite number between 0 and 3 being 1. So let's check the sign in the inside of the zone. S prime of 1 is, let's see, we have negative 1,000. And then this will be negative uh, 4 over, this is always positive. So this will be some positive number, because these negatives cancel out, which means that the sign of the derivative is positive here. We are increasing, which means the function looks something like this. It's going up. Next, let's check the sign of s prime in the next zone. Try at s prime of 4. All right, so if we plug a 4 in here, we've got the negative 1,000, 2 times 4 minus 6 over some stuff squared. All right, so we've got negative 1,000. 8 minus 6 is positive. The denominator is always positive. So this is going to be some negative number. All right, what does that mean? So that means the derivative is negative in this zone, and it's decreasing, which means that the function looks something like this. OK, we're increasing up to d equals 3, and then we're decreasing afterwards. At the top of this hill, we have a local max. No local minima.